Hello, my name is Tira Welling, <clears throat> and I'm going to do a do-it-yourself guide to how to build a tarot deck. First, start with a blank document. I've already created a blank document, but you open a blank document by going into here and hitting blank document. But I've already done that. So, next thing you need to do is work on the orientation. Uh, uh, hit the wrong... Customized boundaries is, is fine to start with, um, but orientation will need to be um, set these as low as possible. Um, it will give you an error message, but just ignore that. Say hit, then the error message, fix, hit OK, and then there you go. <clears throat> orientation, landscape, there you go. So back up over here, hit go back up, and there you have it. So you have to go, come over here and go from web lay layout to print layout. That'll put it in the right place. Back up. Then come over here to insert. Come down here to tablet. Uh, tab tablet. Um, table, and then you're going to want to do four over and at least four down, if not five. Then you hit, you come in here, and hit here, come over here, and then hit that. Now, whether or not it works or not, that's another question altogether. So, there. That should work. This it is. So, just put in whatever, <clears throat> just for placeholder. You have placeholder, come here, and then do... Come over here and hit paste. Uh, you copy and then hit paste. So you have the the, the 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 leader bar going there. You put the graphic in here. And you do the graphic by coming in here, going down to uh, from this device, and then come here, and then um, uh, it's in the, it needs to be in the right place. Pictures, in this case, pictures will be on the external uh, the external hard drive here. Come here, and then you hit B A C K, and then hit Enter. And wrong place. There, there it's set in the right place. There it's set on F drive. So this will work. So you come over here. The next thing that you need to do is you need to shrink this down. <coughs> So it's, the appropriate, it's kind of the appropriate size. You hit this, you come here, click, you paste, 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 paste. Cool. So that, that part's done. Copy. Now you need this section here. This section needs to be blank. This section, so this, is the cut, this is the cut line. Or this is the cut line, and you're going to put words in here. Um, Whatever you choose, you want to put, you want to say cup, the cups, major cano, whatever here, and then say cups, major cano, um, court, the whatever, whatever you want to want to put in these in these positions, you can. If you don't want to have anything in these positions, you want to put put a label here but not here, or do you want to have no labels here, just have have the information on on the card itself? Um, doer's choice. So, you, hit, you come here, come there, and then hit. So now this is not the full page. So you then need to go into a, need to adjust the page a little bit because you're going to need to copy this. You hit copy, and then you hit there and paste, and then you come over here and highlight this all out and hit paste and that has that and that's that's the that's the absolute most basic of basic um, formatting you're now ready to make your own deck over here and then put in what and then th this is just placeholders <clears throat> now when you go to print when you have you have when you have this all oriented and um, so you, that's a that's a basic four four page come down here Come over here and hit this to be able to give, give some coding. And hit that 
hit paste, then hit paste again, and then you have you you're starting to make your your deck. <clears throat> you can make it all in one section, or you can divide it into suits, major arcana, and court. However you want to do it, your choice entirely. But this is the this is the absolute basics of how to make a, a basic formatting. So you you can you can also do some you can shrink these things down a little bit and put a put a put a line of put a, put another another row under this one. You can you can create this line below here. All you have to do is shrink shrink these graphics down, but you don't but you can't shrink individual one. You pick one size, pick this, copy it, because uniformity is absolutely beyond key when it comes to to row. So you have this and you have that and then you come over here and if you want to add, an, add a, a line below <clears throat> you add a layout line below and there you have the line below of course you're going to, going to have to do this line for you're going to have to repeat that here you're going to have to repeat that here you and you're also going to have to repeat that here so you're going to have a, you, have, you have a lot of of repeating to do depending on how you want to, want to format it just showing you how to do that um, go to the layout um, insert below and then put that in place and when you put that in place come here just to just for um, placement holder come there now the coding will disappear when you print it or you can just hit, hit this button here um, under the home tab appear disappear so you now you now have all that information and all that knowledge. Now, if you want to do some fancy, so some slightly more fancy stuff, you can <clears throat> come over to, ta to to table, to border, um, make border, make make no border, outside border, inside border, um, highlight various assorted aspects, and do it that way. You can also come in here and change the background color, the foreground color, the line colors, for suit specific information it's all your choice so that is what you that is that is the absolute most basic aspect of how to of how to make your art to deck is to do it that way and now for the cutting you have a cutting you have a cutting surface i do not recommend this cutter this cutter is bad this cutter doesn't have a good doesn't have a good ruler and this shakes so from here to here is fine from here to here this part is solid it has a good it has a good locking knot to it which is good you need a good locking knot but down here it starts to shake and it could be off by as much as several several millimeters if not, if not even a full centimeter so you have a lot off how you do this part now the printer that I'm using is an Epson ET2720 and it is a back feeder so you can it's it back feeds so so it it feeds it, it does a it feeds like that which is fine though it's the only way really because really, if you have a if you have a curl if you have a, a curve feeder um, it will it will damage the paper and you can't use it as a you can't use it to shuffle very well now the paper is 110 pen, weight and you need it to do that. If it does this kind of a bounce back, and that sound, if this does this kind of a bounce back, then it will be good for shuffling. If it doesn't do that, it will not, will not be good for shuffling at all. So how you do, when, it, when it's misaligned like this, you have to, this distance is the same as you saw on the, on the monitor. So you have to come here and find this imaginary line. You do the math. You can probably do the mathematics on this, but that requires a separate ruler and a, a detached ruler, and then making um, pencil marks, and then you, that have to be erased, and they always stay. And this is a true deck, so you have to be careful of what energy you do and do not have in your in your deck. So you line it up. You feel through the paper. The, the 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 edge this edge you can feel through here 
and you feel for it and then put this ink this ink as close to that line as possible because then you need to give you some wiggle room over here and then here to be able to allow access to your to, to the full extent of the card as you get through it so come here put two fingers here put a, put a thumb here therefore it's, it's solidly locked in because the, this this square um, this this 90 degree bend is movable so you come down here come down here make sure that everything is nice and safe and not nice and lined up correctly and then there you go that's useless so you come back over here and then <clears throat> align this 90 degrees this couple this inch of 90 degrees and then this 90 degree this is going to move so you can't rely on this at all this is this is all going to move so you come down here make sure that this is that way the this ink is that way of the of, of the of the sur cutting surface and you cut and then you come in here and you two fingers the thumb nice my, 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 my and everything is secure this imaginary line is going to be the cut surface all the ink is that, that side and all this ink is on that side so you then cut this locked in place means that this surface that this width is uniform through the whole deck when you come back and you you divide you you divide this exactly in half means that this card and this card are going to be exactly in half that's a different measurement and with this thing it's a you have to do some careful secondary ruler measurements to be able to make sure that that line is uniform and consistent because then you, it's uniform and consistent so that you can then you can then feel it down the line and you can shuffle it and your thumb and your fingers as you shuffle it will catch all the cards as they go down in uniformity which will allow for a solid shuffle <clears throat> this is my throw deck um, and that is how that is the absolute basics of how to do that's the formatting this is how to cut this is how to make the uniform cuts um, I recommend a guillotine cutter instead of a, um, a side cutter a guillotine cutter is, is a little bit easier but not this brand because this this cutting surface this 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 bar is junk this ruler is junk and this these these measurements mean nothing because there's there's such a huge gap between these two points um, when you're doing when you're dealing with something that's precise like this you can't have um, half a millimeter of space because half a millimeter of space you can't you can feel a half a millimeter of space so, so the me the measurement needs to be dead on the money you can't just um, measure this out and then um, add add a subtract depending on how how you you measure things out from this ruler add a subtract from there because it, it's not precise enough because again you're dealing with millimeters or fractions of an inch so that is how to make the most basic of basic information about how to make a troll deck there's a massive amount of information I'm leaving out there's the 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 number system because most troll decks go from the Arabic number system which is one two three four four five six seven eight nine um, that's the basic Arabic number system but the Arabic number system didn't was not intent, invented until after 500 BC the Troll deck, some a, some aspects of the of some evidence of it dates back to ancient e Egypt, and the ancient Egyptians did not use a ten base number system. They used other base number systems, eight, twelve, and such, and those those other different number systems apply to the Troll. You just you have to use you have to determine what aspect of the mathematics you use, what aspect of the no, the math, the um, the number sequences and the mathematics you use, as well as the the sacred geometry that is associated with the language, the numbers, and the mathematics system. So that's how to make a deck. Thank you so much.